First at five, a warning from the Arkansas Department of Health about a small rise in tuberculosis cases across the state. Thanks for joining us. I'm Darren Bob. And I'm Alexandra Burnley. This comes after a case of TB was reported at Harbor High School in Springdale. Five News reporter Kayla Davis talked with an expert, and she's here now to share what you need to know to keep your family safe. Hi, Kayla. Yeah, doctors at ADH say since the pandemic, America has been in, has seen a rise in tuberculosis cases. And in Arkansas, cases jumped up by up to 25%. Just in the first month and a half of this year, 25 cases have been reported here in the state. Experts say you don't need to live in fear, but just be more aware. Tuberculosis is still uh, present and prevalent here in, in our uh, state. So we need to be very um, uh, cautious and careful um, uh, about dismissing uh, this disease as a disease of the past. Tuberculosis is a respiratory disease that spreads through the air. If left untreated, it can be deadly. It was a big problem in the U.S. 100 years ago, and in Arkansas especially, till about 40, 50 years ago, you know, we had TB sanatoriums here in, in, in Arkansas. Uh, with uh, thousands of people in it. Dr. Naveen Patil, the medical director for infectious diseases at the Arkansas Department of Health, or ADH, says as of 50 years ago, the disease was brought under control with fewer than 100 cases throughout the state every year. But in the last few years since the pandemic, the state has seen a substantial uptick in cases. During the COVID period, their contacts were not uh, screened or tested, did not come forward. So all those people who did not take preventive medications at that time, they are now uh, coming up with active, uh, active disease now. Late last week, ADH sent this letter to staff and students who came in contact with the infected individual at Harbor High School. As ADH tests close contacts, Dr. Patil says parents should not be worried. I just want to reassure all parents in both the high school and the middle school where, you know, we have had this uh, uh, case, we are testing them out of abundance of precaution, and only those people who have received the letters need to be tested, not the entire school. Again, uh, if there is anything else that we find that is of concern and more people need to be tested, we'll let you know. Dr. Patil says after 14 days of treatment, students are no longer contagious and can go back to school and all their other activities. Springdale schools tell us they're following the health department's guidelines. Kayla Davis, 5 News.